Hey guys, Jerry Della Salad here. Today I'll be reading again another episode of Rover, the remote operated vehicle. And today's title of our exploration and adventure is The Prehistoric Fish. It is written by Kristen and Kevin Collier with illustrations by Kevin Collier. Hello, my name is Rover. I'm what you call a remote operated vehicle. The R is my model number, which I like to think stands for Robert. <laughs> Am I a pet? Am I a camera? Am I an undersea robot? Well, I'm all three. But what I really am is amazed. I get to go places most people never venture. My exploration assignments as a remote operated vehicle take me all over the world. But through my eyes and your screen, we explore every adventure together. I never know where I'll be heading next, but I'm one of the first to find out. I have a bird's eye view of our destination as we head there and am briefed aboard our plane. I have never been to the Camarus Islands before. They are located here between the African continent and Madagascar. It looks like an exciting and mysterious place to vacation, but I will be working. From our plane, we board our research ship and anchor at the special location using global positioning satellites. Once I am in the water and break free of the harness, I'm off and on my way. I am here to look for what some say is a prehistoric fish. People thought these fossil fish were extinct, so it was a surprise to find them off South Africa in 1938. I will have to dive really deep because they live up to 2,300 feet down. Their scientific name is the siliconth, and they are called a living fossil because they have thick scales common only to extinct fish. Most of them are found in the Camarus Islands by Madagascar. Islanders are doing their best to protect them because they are an endangered species. They think there are only about a thousand silicon around the Camarus Islands, so I have to be careful not to disturb their habitat. I will get in as close as I can to take a picture. I have a very sharp camera in me that can take great pictures for Dave, my partner on the ship. Dave helps me steer and keeps me headed in the right direction. There, oh, there it is, the silicon. I hope Dave is getting a good look at this. He would love it down here, but I know he loves seeing through my eyes. Dave is my best friend. We share a lot in common. We love our work, and these fish are amazing. They can be huge, up to six and a half feet, and weigh almost 200 pounds. Wow! The water is clear, so the pictures I am capturing should be perfect for study. I can imagine Dave smiling right now, watching what I encounter, and watching over me, too. Fossil fish have back fins that move like a trotting horse. Left, right, left, right. That is their most striking feature. Their back fins ex extend away from their body and move in an alternating pattern. Cool! How cool it is to be swimming with fish once thought to be extinct! I know the people of the Camarus Islands are doing their part to protect them. They're even building a research center and museum to protect the fossil fish. Boy, I sure hope our research helps. Oh, I have been signaled to come back to the ship. It's time to go home. I always look forward to getting back on the ship. It means I am one day closer to exploring another great body of water elsewhere in this world. I hope all I captured might lead to an answer of whether or not the 
Silicoth really is a prehistoric fish. But for now, it's back into the harness. And back aboard the ship, my work is done here. I wonder where we're headed next. How long has this prehistoric fish been on this planet? Dave and the crew can figure that out. I know that God knows the answer. And that's good enough for me. The end. Thanks, guys. Can't wait to see you again.